So in this video we're gonna go through some examples go through for examples of acceleration so first one if a car accelerates accelerates from from 0 to 80 miles 80 miles in 8 seconds 8 seconds so we have to find the acceleration how much is the acceleration for this and we have to find this in um, meters per second so so first of all we're gonna list up what we have for this we the given uh, the given detail like for uh, we got uh, like an initial velocity so the initial velocity is it's a uh, zero it means it's in a stationary position so it's a zero and our final velocity is 80 miles 80, 80 miles per hour 80 miles per hour and you have to in the time that they have given us it's eight seconds and the acceleration is the one that's missing so, so we have to find this guy here so we got the formula so uh, the formula is something like a it's a final velocity equals initial velocity plus a times t so this is the formula so this formula especially for the final if the final velocity is missing we're gonna find this from this example from this formula and we have to change this formula to something like we have to find the the acceleration so in this formula we have a uh, the things that we have its final velocity we have initial velocity also given but uh, acceleration is missing and us the time we have the time as well so we'll change this formula to something like um like this so we will uh, replace we get the final velocity we will replace the initial velocity uh, we will uh, make it uh, bring it to here so minus initial velocity equals uh, acceleration times t so now we have to uh, get rid of the t so we will uh, divide both sides by by the t so something like this and this t will cancel with this and now we will do something like a bring uh, the a this side and final velocity minus initial velocity divided by t so this is the formula for acceleration so we can find the acceleration from this formula so before we put all the thing put all these things to, to to the formula we have to change the final velocity it's in mile we have to change it in meters per second so for changing that we have we have like a we have to change so first of all I will do that right here so we have yeah so we have the 80 80 miles per hour how it's going the bottom so times so so there's uh, in one kilometer in one kilometer uh, one kilometer there is 0 0.62 miles so in here and uh, and then there is 1000 meters in one kilometers and the, we have changed that to meters and now we have to get rid of the hour so there is in a in a one hour there is 3600 seconds in one hour so now we will do something like this mile will cancel with this mile this kilometer with uh, this kilometer and uh, from the and now uh, this hour with this hour and now the things that have remained we have to uh, all the things in the denominator and denominator will be divided and multiplied with each other so first is 80 
ET will uh, divide by 0 0.62 and then we have to multiply that with 1000 and then we have to multiply, uh, divide that with 3600 in the last uh, thing that it's a uh, meters per second so now we will do that so something so when we multiply and divide these will we will get something like 35.842 so this is our final uh, final uh, the final velocity is something like this and uh, it's meters per second we have, to, we have changed that from miles to meters per second and now we will put all these things into in the for in this formula like uh, so we'll go here so we have the formula final velocity minus initial velocity divided by t divided by t so we will put all these things so our final velocity we have found it's 35.842 minus so it's the uh, initial is zero so so we have the and now in the bottom we have the t was given here it's uh, eight eight seconds so we will divide both of these so, we'll, so when we divide that we will get the last so dividing that we'll, we will get so the acceleration is equal to 4.48 meters the second square so this is our final answer and I hope so what's up guys in this video we're gonna go through some examples for acceleration so so here we have a an incline we have an incline and there is a box and uh, the friction between the box and the incline incline uh, incline is a uh, there's no friction it's kind of frictionless so what we're gonna find in this example is the is acceleration so so how much the box has the box acceleration towards a uh, downhill like suppose it's a uh, incline so so we know that it's uh, something like it's a uh, something like it's a uh, free it's like a free fall so when it's free fall so we'll understand that it's uh, the acceleration of y it's uh, something it's it's uh, equal to negative g negative g it means that it's smaller than uh, gravity something like 9.8 meters per second squared so when the acceleration is a uh, smaller than g and when it's smaller than g so we'll understand that so that so it's smaller than g and now we have to find the the angle how much the angle is between uh, the incline uh, angle in which it, it's called theta so so we find how we're gonna find the angle so the angle gonna we find it's some it, it's uh, like a uh, the acceleration equals to uh, g sine of theta in g sine of theta it means so when they this is uh, smaller than g so it's uh so it's uh the angle is zero so when it's zero so you'll understand that uh, like uh the acceleration here is equal to zero and so when the acceleration is zero uh, it means that the that this incline is something like a like a, like this also when the acceleration is zero it means that this this box is a uh, acceleration is zero it's not moving the incline uh, the angle of this incline is too small that it will not gonna give the the box any movement or any motion it will stay stationary there 